the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 251, Ezekiel 25-28 The Fall of Tyre The arrogant countries who believed that they controlled everything with their own power eventually disappeared into history. First point, God who declared that the whole world was His now proclaimed punishment on South Judah's surrounding countries, Ammon, Moab, Edom, and Philistine. God explained to Ezekiel that Ammon would be judged for their sins. The reason for their judgment was because when Babylon attacked South Judah, they did not stop them but later enjoyed this. Ammon, Moab, North Israel, and South Judah were brother nations. However, when they saw the fall of South Judah, they did not lament, but rather enjoyed this. God saw this as evil, and so, five years later, Ammon too was conquered by Babylon. God continued to outline how Ammon was to fall. God was not pleased to see Ammon treat the people of South Judah, who were appointed as holy citizens in a kingdom of priests, like any other foreign nation. God then continued to declare judgment on Edom. The reason for Edom's punishment was when Ammon and Moab enjoyed the fact that South Judah had fallen, Edom went further and helped Babylon to attack them. God therefore judged them for this. God declared that he would look upon Edom as enemies and punish them. God next proclaimed judgment on Philistine. The reason for Philistine's judgment was because from the early days, they had despised and attacked South Judah. Therefore, God called Edom and Philistine his enemies and announced that they would also fall. Second point, Tyre rejoiced when their trade rival South Judah fell in the hands of Babylon, but what they did not know was that they too were to fall in the hands of the Hellenistic Empire. Regarding Tyre's fall, God outlined what was to happen to Ezekiel. The reason for their fall was because they were glad that Jerusalem's prophets would come to them. Although Tyre had good relations with Jerusalem during the days of David and Solomon, by providing them with the tools for the temple construction, they sinned afterwards and were unable to avoid their punishment. Being located conveniently near the sea, they saw many benefits from trade and became very wealthy. However, their wealth made them arrogant. Moreover, when Jerusalem, which was the heart of international trade, fell, they were excited of the prophets that were to come to them. However, God saw this as evil and therefore declared the judgment. What Tyre failed to see was the growing power of Babylon. Moreover, they were unable to see how God was the one who governed the world. They were absolutely certain that they would not perish. They clearly did not think that their days were also limited. God declared that Tyre's fall would be unexpected even for their surrounding countries. Tyre was conquered by Babylon, and they completely perished And the Alexander of the Hellenistic Empire. As declared by God, Tyre was no longer able to stand after this. Third point. Ezekiel outlined the glory that Tyre saw due to their successes in international trade. Ezekiel chapter 27 was the second lamenting song for Tyre. Tyre was once a prosperous country. The metaphor of a lavish boat 
made of the finest materials was used to symbolize their past glory. All their glory was built through their international trade. Countries and countries traded with Tyre and also wished to be associated with them. Many countries brought their finest materials to trade with Tyre. This was because Tyre had a lot of excellent materials at hand. But God declared to Tyre that they would no longer be able to stand. Tyre had become arrogant and thought that all things belonged to them. They had forgotten that all things belonged to God. Fourth point, God declared that Tyre's sudden fall would surprise many countries that traded with them. God told Ezekiel that Tyre would perish. Tyre's surrounding countries would lament over their fall. Unlike other countries, God pointed out that Tyre would completely perish. Tyre's abundance and prosperity was unquestionable. They had gathered their fortune through their abilities in trade, but their wealth was not to withstand forever. God declared their destruction and told Ezekiel to sing a lamenting song for them. This was a warning to them that they would not be able to hold the fortune that God had permitted them forever. Fifth point, God declared that the reason for Tyre's fall was due to the king of Tyre's arrogance. God told Ezekiel of his judgment against the king of Tyre. The reasons can be found in Ezekiel 28 verses 2 to 6. The ultimate reason was down to the fact that the king of Tyre was arrogant. He believed that he was a god and that he was wiser than Daniel and that all Tyre's wealth was accomplished through his wisdom. Therefore, God told Ezekiel to sing a lamenting song for the king of Tyre. In the past, the king of Tyre was indeed wise and Tyre was beautiful like the Garden of Eden. The king of Tyre was blessed by God, but God's blessing in time made the king arrogant. Thus, this arrogance led to his downfall. Next, God declared judgment on Sidon. Sidon and Tyre were both city-states of Phoenicia. The reason for Sidon's judgment was not outlined in detail, but we can presume that it was due to their idol worship. Sidon's fall was spoken by Isaiah, Jeremiah, Joel, and also Ezekiel. After speaking of Tai and Sidon's fall, God returned to the topic of South Judah's restoration. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference. And when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading. This is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible. And he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story. And then day after day takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person He created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.